Well, another overcast and just gloomy weekend for us across the Wabash Valley. The rain has returned and we saw that this morning. We had a quick splash right here in Terre Haute, about one tenth of precipitation here at our station. Most of us were right around that mark, but the rain isn't over yet, and we'll actually see that last around for at least the evening and probably for Sunday and further on into the work week. I'll have all those details in the future cast in just a moment, but let's jump right into the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker right now. You can see that precipitation through the region stretching from 57 there all the way down to US 50. So a lot of precipitation still in the region. Let's zoom in uh, from Robinson and just north of Newton to Casey. Some moderate rainfall. You can see that in the yellow and the orange there. So heavier rainfall, which is good to see that. That's help for the crops and the gardens out there. Uh, but if you had any outdoor activities for today, might have been rained out just a little bit, but most of that has been kind of on and off. This is our biggest stream of moisture that we've seen so far for today. Just about the same off to the south from Knox County you have Davies and Martin County to Lagodi. So Washington up to Odin there. Bicknell, some precipitation currently right now too. As we take a wide look of this, it's just about all here, all the way up to the north, more precipitation up to the west, and that's all due to a low pressure system that is very slowly going to be tracking through the next few days, which means we'll see that reoccurring event for some rain as we head through the next couple days. Current conditions right around 76 degrees here in Terre Haute, just cloudy out there. A south wind right around 9 miles per hour, that heat index in the upper 70s. So it's kind of humid too. You'll notice that if you head out the door. 76 once again for Terre Haute, 77 for Rockville, 76 for you folks in Paris currently just off to the southwest. Effingham cooler at 69 degrees, cloud coverage, some precipitation really keeping those temperatures down to the south. Look at that from Florida, Olney to Vincennes. You folks are in the lower 70s currently. Here's the big shot. We have a low pressure right around there in Missouri and it's helping just push that moisture. We're driving it east and we'll continue to see that as we head through tonight too and into tomorrow. Eventually that's going to wrap around the next direction. So we're not going to really escape this precipitation over the next 24 hours. Here's the future cast 11 o'clock. There it is. Some more rain still hanging into the picture. We'll continue to see that through the overnight. Get into tomorrow morning to some clouds out there. Some more rainfall continuing through our Sunday. It will just be on and off. Very similar to what we saw for today. Quick break as we head into our Monday morning. Tonight though, 68 degrees, cloudy sky. Just a chance for some more rain showers. A southeast wind right around five miles per hour. As we get into our Sunday, like I said, another chance for some more rain temperatures in the upper 70s. But look at this. The temperatures are really going to start to warm up as we head through the week. We'll be right around 84 degrees by Tuesday. It doesn't stop there, though, by Friday and Saturday in the upper 80s, very close to 90 coming up on Friday and Saturday, Patsy. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to battle with that rain, those rain showers on and off the next few days. We're